welcome back to the shed welcome back to the fridgening the story of how i will become a horse so today we are doing kind of a power day now i'm going to be doing some depth jumps first so just for a 25 kilo plate so about seven or eight centimeters ten centimeters maybe then we're going to be doing some box jumps i'll just work up to a reasonable height on the box jumps on the depth jumps i'm going to do about six to eight singles then on the box jumps, I'll find that height. I've done box jumps in a long time. It's something that I kind of want to get a bit better at, uh, purely just for the, the enjoyment of it. I'm sure the power development stuff is useful from it too, but I want to get to a reasonable height. You know, do three to five sets of five at that height, just get some practice in and get used to them. Then I'm gonna move on to full cleans. I'll use some straps on the full cleans. Then I will do some strict press. Uh, and the cleans I'm gonna work up in sets of five just add like 10 kilos just get some repetitions in uh, feel out the positions and i will also do some very light behind the neck jerk uh, my elbows are getting a lot better already so i've been working them they don't feel as sore the extension uh, still needs to get better but i need to improve it more to get a better lockout but it's just something that's been neglected for the last few months due to jiu-jitsu and less weightlifting then i'll finish off with some strict press because Rumour has it, strict press might be important for the trip to Japan. And of the group, Goyover have the biggest strict press. <laughs> but uh, uh, Toshiki has ousted me by one kilo, so he's on 21 from what I've seen. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, I haven't strict pressed properly in since I did 120, like two, three years ago, more maybe three years ago at this stage. I just. Uh, just haven't been strict pressing because once you do 120, you know, what do you do from there? So we'll uh, we'll get out of some a bit more vigor at the moment. And I'm still need work in my lockout, so the voodoo floss on these a lot and it does help. And I've been doing some seated curls, so very extended, very exaggerated elbow position. So locking them out, letting the weight straighten this out a little bit and stretch as much as possible and curling it in and then I'll do a bit more direct tricep work so maybe body weight stuff and I will be hopefully fixing that a little bit as it's uh, it's lost some range of motion purely from neglect and I should have been on top of it sooner finally I just want to say I'm very grateful for my shed the, it's about seven degrees today in Ireland eight degrees but I turned on the heaters uh, like two or three hours ago uh, because uh, I just wanted a warm shed to come into and it is warm and it's just so novel to have a warm shed in cold weather when I uh, like it, you can feel the heat when I walk in the door now so I did a lot of insulation last summer around August and so I just put some essentially loose insulation so just rolls of insulation uh, fiberglass or rock wool uh, in behind it and then some 28 mil ply or 12 mil ply 28 mil 12 mil ply on top of that so hard face 12 mil ply and it makes such a difference at some stage i'll insulate the, the roof as well with the similar just 12 mil ply depending on what it is and then some rolled insulation uh, because you lose a lot of heat obviously vertically but that is not a job for now and as we're coming to the summer that's not a major concern so that's a job for later in the year but for now it's so good i'm so happy with it so it's great to be doing some jumps so let's get into the session Come <laughs> on. 
Session one for the weekend done. Yesterday I did 45 minutes on the stationary bike. Um, I was supposed to open that again, but because I was a little bit sick, I didn't want to be going rolling with people. It's uh, a pet peeve of mine in, in terms of just just general things like if you go to work or stuff like that. If you know you're sick, just for the initial days, don't go. Um, and so in jiu-jitsu, obviously, it's pretty rude, I would think, and very unfair to people. So. Did that session, 45 minutes on the bike. Uh, depth jumps, as you saw, very low. Got to work into them. Uh, you can do them up to, if you want to, you can do them up to a meter or 70 centimeters. Uh, I'll probably work up to like two plates uh, in a few weeks and see how they're going. Uh, if you saw the warm ups for the box jumps, you'll see I was doing them straight legged. So there is benefit to box jumps where you get super high. You know, you do bring your legs up and stuff because you're imparting a lot of force and. You're potentially putting a lot of maximum effort in but for these i haven't done box jumps seriously in a long time so i'm really trying to just work into them uh, straight legged ones and then a little bit higher only hip height back before i started weightlifting i could jump about chest height so i'm not sure how many inches that is but uh, before i even started weightlifting like 10 what 11 years ago so i uh We'll see what we'll get up to. Uh, I'd like a wider base if possible. Uh, it's a bit narrow on the plates, but it's not a major issue. So we'll keep doing those consistently and we'll see what happens with those. Then I did do any jerk stakes because I wanted to save my elbows a bit. So the cleans, cleans felt really good. So I just worked up in fives for the first 50, 60, 70. And then I was like, fuck it, I'll go to 100, do a set of five. Just did four. 70s felt really good, so pulling under really well. Position's really nice. Bar was super close here. Rack was good. Uh, as it got a little bit heavier. Uh, 100 was good as well, it'll be better, but I'll get a lot more dedicated practice and practice with intention here on these. And in a few weeks, I'll probably, once I get up to meaningful weight on this, the cleans and the jerks and power cleans, I'll, I'll try to get a, a session with Anton just to, to look over it and give me some stuff to work on. Uh, but it feels very good at the moment, very Ukrainian. Good session, tomorrow is week one, day two of the road anywhere. Obviously I won't be showing all the squat sessions, but I'll be showing you definitely the first week and then some intermittent sessions for the squatting. Uh, I will be modifying it for myself though, so it's not a major issue. I'll just be changing a little bit of stuff, a bit more aggressive with the weight jumps, because it's, for me, it is, I, I, I can speed things up a bit, because I'm building back up to old max that I've done these things before, and done them for quite a while. So I don't need to particularly exactly follow that, but uh, the general rep scheme is what I will be following. So tomorrow I think it's five by eight, which is ludicrous. Five by eight, what were we thinking? So we'll do five by eight, and then probably like 150 I would think. I barefoot again, just because I really like doing the barefoot. Someone asked 
in the last video why I was smiling barefoot and I just the little the only reason is just because I like doing it I like how it feels uh, I live in like without shoes it just feels nice uh, I might do most of this block to be honest barefoot in terms of the squats just because I want to <laughs> and I have no good reason for you to do that there's no foot mechanical reason there's no rehab reason just like the idea of it I like how it feels kind of like how it looks as well I like the aesthetics of it and, and if it becomes inhibitory I'll put on my weightlifting shoes but but I'll see, you know, there's no pressure. It's the squats that matter. So, finished with strict press. Again, as I was saying, the elbows are a bit sore in extension. So, just doing a lot of volume. I think I've only videoed one set, but I did like six sets of 10 with 30. Uh, and then I will build up the volume on that strict press, as it'll be very useful for a jerk as well, of course. And I will do some stretching later. No core work today. I uh, did a lot of it on Thursday. So, kind of have abdoms. So, decent session, food is good today, a lot of eggs, a bit of porridge, uh, I need to eat some greens, and I will have uh, a load of venison tonight, a sika dough from a couple of, few weeks ago, and uh, yeah, all going pretty good, pretty happy with that. See you tomorrow for the day two of the pull and the squat program, and some jerks. Welcome to day two. So we're doing day two of week one of Sika Roll Tenure Squat Program. We're doing day two of the Sika Pull. So deadlifts, five by eight squats, and a couple of sets of 12 on the deadlift. So should be doing some overhead work, some jerks, ugh, some either push press or jerks, but my elbow it's still V sore when I wake up. It's a, I've done a lot of soft tissue work on it. It feels a lot better already. But I'm kind of stuck in flexion. Especially you can see it this side, pretty good. My left side, right side though, it's essentially stuck in flexion. So I really need to do something about that. Uh, so I'm gonna do some mobilization stuff. Pain is a lot less today in it. It was like, even this morning before I did the soft tissue work, it's like eight out of 10. But now it's like, uh, I just can't get it into flexion <laughs> or extension, so it's kind of like a 3 out of 10 now. So, I'll do some mobilization. Won't spend too long on it. Uh, I'll probably just better off going seeing someone and uh, letting them have a good look at it. But I'll try some mobilization. Hopefully, I can address it. Feels better. I'll keep it up. And if not, then, you know, a lot of time, it's still very early in the training block, but only in the first week. So, no point killing it. Gotta lay the foundations now, make sure everything's nice and healthy. And then we can push it from there, you know, but right now it's no point being stupid. So I'll just do some If it doesn't free up, I won't do the jerks or push press. If it does, I'll do a little bit of them Then I'll move on to the squats. Then I'll move on to the deadlifts. Then I'll do some direct arm work. So Probably a little bit of curls and some direct tricep work uh, to Give this all a bit of chance to be stabilized so Without further ado, let's get to it. Too much about biceps uh, to not absolutely hammer them. We'll do like a super what do you got for us? We can, oh, yeah. Oh, we have an incline bench. Come on, coach. Yeah. Yeah. Time to shine. All right. Yeah, an incline bench. Yeah, yeah. Let's, uh, yeah. Uh, let's get this.
session and put hair in your chest. So first of all that 140 kilo behind the next picture came out of nowhere. I was not expecting that. So <laughs> there's no way you would have said I would have put 140 today. Heavens. Jeez. Ning. Barely clean jerks. Literally like since last October maybe I'm, I'm like full clean and jerks less than 15 times maybe less than 10 times. No, no more than 110, maybe 115. Uh, crazy. Uh, so very happy that. So I just started warming up with it. I did the band dislocations of that. So, velt, so it went up in trees from like 40, 50, 60, 70. 
80, 90, got to 100. And I was like, fuck, that feels pretty good. So 120 for a double, little jubilee. And I said, fuck it, let's put up 140 as a little benchmark. Uh, I didn't even on the shoes because I was just messing around and then I just couldn't be arsed. Uh, so very happy with that. That feels like it's doing something. It feels like it's going somewhere. Uh, then the squats, squats are great. 5x8, 140 as programmed. And then 4 by 12 on the deadlift at 100 kilos, it was like 96, obviously did 100. Uh, man, you can feel the pump in your legs. That's how we like people to deadlift. A lot of leg engagement, a lot of leg drive. So you should be feeling the pump in your quads on high rep deadlifts if you're doing them right. So no assistance work tonight. Kombucha is brewing. Training's good. Elbow is very good on that. Still needs more work, but a lot better than I thought when I could barely straighten my arm this morning. Uh, now time to eat some pasta. I haven't had pasta in a while. Thanks for watching guys and let the uh, frigging continue.